Hi, Quilto. This is Amy from Bristol Blue. Uh, I Sorry, it's been such a long time since my last video. There's been a few things that have been going on and um, I had to make some adjustments. So first of all, my Etsy shop, I was um, originally planning and hoping when I uh, went to semi-retirement status at work that I could start selling some fabric and notions and patterns and, and things, but um, there's some restrictions on that. And so I'm not able to do that at this point. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to do that. Um, I also tried another wholesale um, website where you could purchase items, not sewing related, of course, but they do not allow people to sell their items on Etsy, which I found very odd, but it's fine. I just needed to refocus and make a change. And um, I guess the signs that I read were just continue doing what you're doing and um, just add items, homemade items to your to your shop. So I started making some project bags and these will be posted um, to Etsy, will be listed on Etsy in my shop and I'll have the link below um, the description of um, the items that are going up for sale this evening when this video is made live or been posted to YouTube. So here's number one, and this is a Holtz fabric line called Christmas Time. And it is a, you know, 12 fish by 12 ish bag. All the measurements and everything will be listed there. Um, inside my bag, it is fully lined. No um, seams are showing or anything of that nature. And I put pockets in them. So there is a nice size pocket. It's about six and a half by six and a half ish. And it will hold a nice needle book and in your floss, bitties or whatever you're using. Um, and a pair of scissors, things of that nature. Um, so this is the back of the bag and the front of the bag. I did add a little bit of vintage lace that I had inherited from my grandmother. Um, so, and then there's this one here, another Tim Holtz Christmas timeline uh, from the Christmas line. And this one here, uh, this one I quilted with a box grid pattern, one inch squares um, on the front and the bottom. Um, it's not quilted on the inside, just on the outside. Um, same with this one, but this one here is with a diamond grid pattern on a diagonal um, with a red zipper and the same fabric on the back. Same thing, opens up. This one has red and white striped fabric in the lining and another pocket about the same size, six and a half ish. This one feels a little bit bigger, but you know, and they are handmade, so the things are, they're, they're not all exactly the same size. Um, and then this one here is the biggest of them all, and I did patchwork this one. It has, and if I remember correctly, the line was called Vintage Christmas, but I don't remember who the designer was. And I did make, I had made a um, Irish chain Christmas quilt with a minky back on it, and that's in my living room. Um, so this here is another Tim Holtz Christmas line and it has tip with text on it. And I did quilt in between each of the lines. So it's like quarter inch vertical lines, <clears throat> horizontal lines, sorry. And inside this one here, this one in the blue bag have a text print on the inside. It's kind of like French, I believe. Something from my stash that I had. I don't know where I got it, who the designer is. Um, the pack, and it was just a couple yards that I had purchased and another pocket on the inside. So these are pockets. Um, I'm going to be doing some other kinds where there won't be a pocket, but I might include a small zipper pouch to put all those other essentials and stuff in a separate bag. So we'll see. I'm working on some ideas for that. My next one is with Christmas fakes fabrics. And I am, so I am a quilter. However, I do cross stitch, and I'll show you some of my projects here in a minute. We'll switch to a floss tube setting. Um, I am a quilter, and I do like piecing. So these one panel things, those are great. I love them. They're beautiful. I do want to piece 
my bags. I, I'm just like really drawn to do that. And I'll do more of these, like just three fabrics or two fabrics types of projects. But this one here, I have decided, and I wanted to do all the trimmings quilt along with that quarter shop, but I really wasn't sure I really had time to fit it in or anything. And there were two of the blocks on there that I really liked. And um, <clears throat> so I decided I am going to piece some of the blocks from the, all the trimmings for so long. Um, things. So I've pulled out, I had this fat quarter bundle of Christmas figs for quite a while. I had another plan for it, but I'm really excited about this. So I pulled out those fabrics and I'm making the blocks for that. So I've got one completed. Um, so I'll have like berries or something on the front and then um, one of the other blocks. I won't say which one, but uh, I'll do updates on that. Um, <clears throat> On the back so a back of the bag so we're gonna have some fun with that um i have lots of fabric and we'll just go from there i am using just a regular non-fusible batting and um i just quilted the fabric to the batting and then put the bag together um i found a really uh, nice tutorial on youtube and i'll put a link to it i think it's jen crafts, something like that. And it's from 2019. It is very good. So I uh, um, followed her tutorial and made these bags and they were fun. Oh my God, I had so much fun putting those together. So um, I will continue to work on bags. It's kind of like my focus has changed a little bit. We had a baby in the family. My youngest son's brother had a baby. So I started a baby quilt and um, I wanted to piece her name in the back of the quilt. And um, I ordered pattern. Um, I ordered actually Lori Holt's Spelling Bee book. So I'm gonna use the, the, the and that just came the other day. So I am ready to start getting back to work on that. Um, I found, so I was searching for my Christmas fabrics and stuff for these bags. I found, in my jolly box, I think it was last year or the year before, this Dear Christmas one. So it's like another baby quilt. And um, I'm backing it with a leftover red Mickey that I had used when I made the Irish chain quilt for this. So I have leftover that. So I'm putting that on the back of that quilt. And I will put that out. I think I'm gonna sell that on Etsy as well. So if you're interested, um, and I'll keep post updates on that because I do want to get this into the rotation here pretty quickly. Um, so um, I did move my logo quilt, my antique quilt onto the wall over here. I find it extremely hilarious. The bottom block, <laughs> this one right here is sideways. And then two up, there's a triangle that's in the wrong, they're in the wrong positions. I in love with that and I can't want to change my logo to be cockeyed. So we'll have to see how that goes, but I am making myself, I've got up here on the table, some laundry basket quilts, blue fabrics and some, and a bunch of neutrals. And I'm going to make myself a, a project like for that. So let's go out. Let's switch to the floss tube here. These are all bangs that I made for myself except for one. And show you what I'm working on um, this cross stitch wise. So this here is a Allison glass bag and I lined it with a button fabric from Kat, not Kat Holden. I can't think of her name right now. I'd have to go pull it out. Um, but I have no, they, there's no lining like per se in here. All the seams are open, but again, it's just mine. So um, I am working on, and this here is a pattern um, called Rocking Horse Holiday from Artful Offerings. I should hide that. Um, this, this pattern right here. 
and it is one over two. And I'm doing it on a 30 count, which is actually smaller than what it should be. It should be 32 apparently to a compatter. But um, I ordered from um, the Primitive Hair my fabric, and I think it's called Old English or something like that. So out of Etsy, and uh, I love the called for threads, um, which are DMC and. I'm still learning a lot of the, the lingo about it, but this is where I've gotten so far. And I like the laciness of the one over two. I don't know, it looks so delicate. Um, but I think it probably would have looked better two over two. But um, And this fabric got a little much to hold, so I put it in a hoop. So that's in here. I have, I use... This is what I use, so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I love them. I use them for a lot of other things, too. So I throw my thread in here and all my scissors. So we've got uh, Gentle Arts and we got DMC. So I don't have, I haven't put this all together. I was just pulling everything out of the bags. I didn't make everything look real pretty and set it on top. Or, next time I'll do better, I promise. Um, didn't even think about it until just now. So I'll we'll throw all this back in the bag. And then, um, um, the other thing I don't do on my bags is I, I, I was looking for some charms and stuff to make something to put on my zipper poles. Um, but uh, I'm not, I haven't found anything that I like, so there won't be any on um, these bags that are for sale. So you can then put your your own little little things on there. This one here, I have not started yet, but this is from Heartstring Sampler, and it's called Baby, It's Cold Outside. Love that. Little red house. Um, I'm doing it on the same fabric and oh, I do have the label on it here. It is called Old Salem Linen 30 Count and it is from the Primitive Hair. Um, these are all, I'm using all the same called four threads and these are Gentle Arts and Weeks Dye Works. All of those. There is a couple uh, DMC ones in here as well. So that's all in there with my my fabric that I purchased. I just love this. Looks like old paper. Love it. Gorgeous. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous. And so we'll put that back in the bag. Oh, I grabbed this bag, but it's really not cross stitch. This is where I have all my like hand stitching things. Um, I got this. I bought this kit a couple years ago. I went with my mother over by the Madison area and bought this kit. And I've got everything laid out. Now I'm just doing all the stitching. So I've got like half of the letters blanket stitched. But it all comes with everything you needed the fabric and the threads. And so that's in here. I've got my Valdani balls to finish off this one because I just uh, put on the poinsettia so I've got the Valdani to, to do that. Um, I'm also doing it on, I made a smaller version of this one in the black and uh, the grays and creams that goes in long to put on a pillow on my sofa. <clears throat> so I've got that. This is my favorite bag. And figure out who the designer is. And I just fell in love with all their fabric. Um, it has like, just follow your heart, believe in yourself. It's the back. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous. This one here, haven't started it yet, but I've got it all kitted up and ready to go. Um, it holds, it's called Winter Rose Manor. This one here, who does this one? It's a sampler and push a pin cushion um, pattern, and this is Brenda Gervais. Gorgeous! It's gonna and I bought this fabric, and 
I got that for Mad for Minders. And I don't know what the name of it is. Here it is. Green Apple. So it's going to go on all of these. It's got all the called for threads in here. Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works. There's no DMC in this one. But these are just beautiful. And they're going to be oh, just luscious. My uh, living room is going to be green. So I really like that. Um, this <laughs> this little thing. I made this. It's kind of my little uh, boss keeper so I can keep it in there, roll it up. And then, uh, when I get started on this, I don't know when I'll get started. I don't cross stitch very often and um, I do. I mean when I do, it's kind of like I can't stop. So um, I do try to do it quite often as often as I can. I'm kind of just sitting still watching TV or something and just chilling out, relaxing when I come home from work. This is a bag I got from Dot Dot Goose. I loved it. Love this bag. Oh, I don't do vinyl bags. I, it's not that I don't like them. I love them. I've never made one. I'm afraid to. I don't know that I can, but we'll see. <laughs> I might give it a shot. I do have some vinyl, but that project is for something else. But this is fun, isn't it? I just love this bag. Thank you. <laughs> Dot Dacus. Denise and Miss Gracie. I love your little card. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love it. So this one here. Oh, you're going to hate me because I do this. I bought this a while ago. I pulled it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never more. I've been working on this one for a while. I finished a uh, another one earlier this year and put that in a frame. So this is where I am with this one. And this one here is on some sort of pumpkin. I don't even remember what the fabric was, but it's deep orange. Gorgeous. I just love this. And it looks so good at that. Um, I've got another, I went and bought another one when I got the green apple. So I now have two of those or other Halloween projects that I may, may have. So I just tossed all that stuff in there with my scissors. So that's basically everything that I'm in the works with. I'd like to try to do more, but I'm, you know, I'm a quilter. I think this, I love to cross stitch, but I love, I like to quilt. That's my, my number one thing, and I spend more time in here, and those sit downstairs with me next to the sofa. And so I'll pull those out real early in the morning when I first wake up and um, with coffee and, so, and such. But So check out the Etsy shop. The link will be below. And hopefully about next week I can get another um, video in. I have several days off next week. So... And uh, I hope you had a very good Halloween and keep stitching and we'll see you soon. Enjoy. Bye.